it's time to plant out more of the Three Sisters garden, so here's the plan. Just to keep you up to date, we've got a 2,000 square foot Three Sisters garden plot here. This is my first year doing it. I'm following Cor Cornell University's kind of guidelines on it. So I have six rows of corn and then eight rows of squash. Cornell recommends you start planting your beans and squash out when your corn is six inches. This is a little bit taller, but I also have some sap that are a little small like this, but we're gonna go ahead and get. So we have six rows of beans to plant with our corn. These are the varieties I'm going with. First one is the Mountaineer Half Runner Bean. Um, this one's supposed to be great for freezing, drying, and fresh eating, so it's kind of a good all-purpose. And then one of you guys recommended on here that a half runner bean would be better because I am doing sweet corn. So for three of these rows, I'm going to do the half runner beans. This is the one I'm most excited about. It's the Scarlet Emperor Runner Bean. So I'm going to do two rows of it. And then lastly, I'm going to do one row of this Christmas Lima Pole Bean. Okay, so let's talk squash. Now around the border of my garden, I've got three sides. Here, I am gonna do crimson watermelon and I'm gonna succession sow that. I'm putting the watermelon on the outside just so I can easily harvest it because once this gets wild, it's gonna get really wild. Uh, next is gonna be all of our squash. So I've got three rows already planted of sweet potatoes as my squash portion. Um, the reason I started that so early is because sweet potatoes do take a lot longer. And last year I waited until about June to start my sweet potatoes and they burnt up. So I wasn't gonna let that happen this year. As far as squash varieties go, I am doing quite a bit, um, just a winter mix. I've got uh, spaghetti squash from True Leaf Market. And then I've got their winter squash harvest blend. And so this is supposed to be a variety of pumpkins and squashes. It's kind of just a surprise to see what happens. And I went ahead and picked up some more butternuts just in case that winter mix doesn't have enough. We're also gonna sprinkle in some pumpkins in there for my son. We've got basic jack-o'-lanterns, mammoth pumpkins, and some sugar pie pumpkins. So that's the plan for the three sisters. I'm gonna succession sow uh, the beans a little bit, but we're gonna get started today. Um, yeah.